Time outside is a regular daily thing for Riley and her family. The birds have their own house. All right. They're within walking distance of their neighborhood park, a place for all kinds of creatures to stay cool. It's Seton Falls Park near Edenwald and Eastchester in the Bronx. Green space and trees are more than scenery for neighbors. Anywhere you have trees, it's much cooler. Park rangers around the boroughs are holding events this week as part of Climate Week. And it is truly my backyard because I live over there. <laughs> Renee Patterson also works with Seton Falls Park Preservation Coalition. If you want to know what New York looked like back then, you can come in this park. They need to get more from their budgets to do more with parks. Monday, the Parks Department announced it has planted more trees along city streets and in parks this year than the past five years. More than 13,000 trees this year. You definitely notice the temperature change as oh, yeah. soon as we get even kind of close to the trees. Absolutely. Why is that? Absolutely. So basically trees, they, you know, create shade and, you know, we take it for granted. There's all of this extra artificial heat that never was here. And also of the city and urban environments just absorb and keep a lot of the heat really concrete. Park rangers are the eyes and ears of the department, walking and observing, inspecting areas and trees that need attention or pruning. Decisions about planting new trees are made based on areas that need them. What we do is rely on there's a citywide heat vulnerability index, and we gear a lot of our planting to make sure we're planting in those areas that are particularly vulnerable to heat, that don't have the tree canopy that we know the city needs for cooling benefits that help neighborhoods.